What's happening, everybody? It's Sean joined again by my son, Trey. And today on Reactions to the Classics, we got a reaction to Foxygen and their song, San Francisco versus Shuggy, brought to us by a friend, longtime supporter, and a guy that brings us all kinds of varied stuff that I've never heard of, CSN. Thank you, CSN. Appreciate you. Appreciate all the patrons who support this channel. If you'd like to support us anyway, check out the Patreon link or the Patreon link on the end screen because we couldn't do it without no. them, Trey. I've never even heard of Foxygen. I have heard of one of the guys in the band, though. Tell, yeah, me, tell I, me about I, I'm unfamiliar go with Foxygen as Great well. Name. So going Great name. Great freaking name. Going in blind. They're an American indie rock duo from California formed in 05. The band consists of multi-instrumentalists Jonathan Ratto and vocalist Sam France. Um, they have released six albums and a number of self-released EPs. Um, the uh, One of the members, Jonathan uh, Ratto, has produced albums for The Killers, yep. The Lemon Twigs, Father John Misty, and Wise Blood. That's I'm, how I know him. I'm familiar with all those uh, artists and enjoy them all, actually. So uh, He actually co-wrote some stuff yeah. with Brandon Flowers for The Killers. Okay, cool. Um, both of these songs are off their 2013 record, We Are the 21st Century Ambassadors <laughs> of Peace and Magic. Rolls off the tongue. <laughs> their third record. Um, they, they were the uh, first two singles released as well. So we're going to start with the track san francisco uh, ever been never been to san francisco no, been either, a lot of places so. never been there don't think i could afford to now very 60s Psychedelic pop uh, influence. Happy. Oh, 
like San Francisco. Now, Trey, if you told me, if I didn't know anything about the song, and you said, you got to make a bet, $1,000, <laughs> is this 1968 or 2013? I would take 1968 yeah. <laughs> and I wouldn't even think about it for a second. Just a fantastic throwback song. Oh, definitely. Hearkening to that 60s psychedelic yeah, pop, man. but man, that uh, uh, I just really uh, enjoy a lot. And you don't hear a lot of music today no. that, uh, you know, sounds like that, no, not that at throwback all. Uh, era. And um, Voxygen really get that down to a T, which um, in and of itself take talent, right? You it takes can, a lot of talent. You can say, oh, they're a derivative of this band or that band. Well, if they were so derivative, you know, why doesn't everyone else uh, sound like that, right? Yeah, exactly. It's tough to tough to um you know to pull that off and i thought they did that in a, in a great way um you know definitely had that uh, imagery that that kind of leans into the the psychedelic music very you know descriptive um and uh, almost whimsical like lyricism and yeah man i just from the keyboards and everything else just kind of kind of head in your clouds type yeah of song. yeah the production was absolutely top notch so that tray is going to transfer us over to the other song which we don't really have anything on either same album yeah we got shuggy all right, man. Well, let's get it. Also wonderful production. On oh this yeah, movie. man! I'm loving the, uh, the tempo changes on here too. But she don't love me. That's news to me. That's news to me. That's news to love. Thank you. And I could be. Shuggy coming in here, Dad. The only Shuggy I know is Shuggy Otis, the yeah. uh, the artist from back in the I don't know seventies. There were there were a couple funky type of uh, lines in here that uh, I think Shuggy would have enjoyed. But um, for the most part, Dad, again, a very uh, you know psychedelic uh, type of a uh, sound right here. Yeah, definitely. I don't have a lot more to add to. It. I mean, I think Jonathan on the, on the keys and the Mellotron and everything else mm-hmm. on these are fantastic. But Sam's vocals are great. Um, yeah, and one of those weird songs where the the song title does not appear. 
in the song itself. Yeah, that, that's right. And um, the, the biggest highlight for me on this song was the uh, the tempo changes, yeah. uh, especially in that that pre-chorus where um, it says, "That's news to me. That's news to." And then uh, we kind of slow it down yeah. a little bit more as we go into. I think you and I could be in love if you believe in yourself. You can free your soul. My heart is breaking in two. I don't know what to do. You know, he's uh, he's going through these uh, these loving type of feelings, and maybe maybe it's foreign to him. Maybe he's scared to go because he's uh, he knows what's happened before. Whatever yeah. the case may be i think the uh, music kind of puts you in that good almost uh, uh confused type of headspace in that chorus there so i thought that was tight but uh we do have to choose a winner here ladies and gentlemen foxygen coming to you first time on rttc what's it gonna be uh i'm actually going with shuggy I'm, I'm going with the song that we just heard i think the uh the tempo changes were enough for me to put it to uh, put it over the top i can definitely see that i'm gonna be cr- contrary and not to just be it but i really believe san francisco okay it's a superior okay. song so i'm going with san francisco we need your help what do you think tell us in the comments below which song you prefer what else should we check out from foxygen yes i just wanted to say that name one more time because i like it Thank you to CSN as always. And until next time, y'all, thanks for watching. Happy listening, and we will see you.